Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book, out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order for you to be able to prepare for the exam. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 152. Turn to page 152, which is perhaps something that I should do myself. There you go, page 152. And we are about to do problem number 8. Problem number 8. This problem, when it appeared in the exam, in the real exam, more than half the people had trouble with it. Only 45% of people got it right. It is the same problem that you will also find on page number, on page 140 of the 10th edition. Page 140 of this book right here that I'm holding in my hand, which is based on the old GRE, the old format of the GRE. And they have repeated some questions from this book into the new book that you're holding in your hand. Let's take a look at it. We are given this pra, the pra, uh, equation d minus 3n equals, or rather 7n divided by 7n, 7n minus d, we are told it equals 1. And the question simply is, which of the following five statements happens to be true? In other words, they want us. They want us to establish the relationship between d and d and n. So the very first thing I want to do is get rid of this thing from the bottom. It's annoying. This denominator. Get it, Get rid of it. Multiply both sides by this quantity. Seven n minus d. Multiply this side by seven n minus d. And by doing so, since we have the same same thing on the because this is just seven n minus d over one. So now we have the same thing on the on the on the numerator and the denominator, so we can get rid of it. And now we are left with d minus 3n equals 7n minus d. Now, because we are because we are trying to establish the relationship between the d and the n, it is it is at this point a wise thing to bring bring all the d's on one side and bring all the ends on the other. Let's do that. Let's do it here. Continue here. So we have d minus d minus 3n equals 7n minus d. I, I'm just I'm just copying over there so that it's easy for us to continue so that I don't have to do it over here. A lot of the things I explain here that uh, does not need explaining probably for most of you. I do it just to be on the safe side. Bring all this is how you this is how you speak. This is how you say it. Bring you're going to bring all the d's on one side and all the n's on the other side. So let's let's so add d to this side and this side by the by virtue of adding by virtue of adding d to the, to this side. Since this is a negative d, this is a positive d. When we add the two, two quantities, the d's are going to cancel out. I also want to get rid of this n from this side. How do I get rid of this 3n? It's a negative 3n. Let's add positive 3n to both sides. And since we are adding the same quantity to both sides of the equation, we have not changed the equation. The equation still holds. So this is, this is a positive d. This is a positive d. This is a negative d and this is a positive d. Positive d and negative d can cancel out. Here we have a negative 3n and we have a positive 3n. Positive 3n and a negative 3n. They will cancel out. And we are left with a positive d and a positive d. That gives us 2d equals. And here we have positive 7n and a positive 3n giving us 10n. Now let's divide both sides by 2. divide both sides by 2 to get rid of the denominator this 2 cancel out and d equals 
phi n, voila. There is your answer. That's it. So we're going to read this in English language. D equals 5n, which is the same as saying D equals 5 times n. Oh boy. That was a startling statement, wasn't it? That was mind-boggling. And all you have to do now is to pick one statement that basically stays the same thing as what we just said. They may have used a little bit different words, but as long as it says basically the same thing, that's the answer. And it turns out that the statement E says exact same thing as what we just wrote down here. It says, oh, it does not say D equals. In statement E it says D is, which is the same thing. Is means equals. Equal sign here. Is and equal sign means is. For example, here, if I were to write here, 5 is 3 and 2 more. 5 equals 3 plus 2, that's the mathematical way of saying the same thing. In English language, you, you would say 5 equals 3 and a 2. 3 and n means plus. 3 and 2. You get the idea. I'm explaining too much. The answer is, answer is E. There you go. That's it. That was the end of that story. And that, that, that's all she wrote. Okay. I do not know why 55% of the people who took the exam would have trouble with it. All you have to do is solve it, establish the relationship between D and DN, and find a statement that comes closest to it. D equals 5 times N. And the only statement that actually says that is E. Are you interested in seeing how to how to uh, translate all the other answer choices into into equations? Let's do that. I'm curious. I'm going to have to pick up the book here, and we're going to translate all the other four statements into equations. In case you're curious, very quickly. I need the room. Where can we do it? Let's, let's do it here. Let's do it here. The first statement says, "D is four less than n." D is n. This says D is n. D is n. Which is same as saying D equals n. But that's not what A says. A says D is 4 less than n. So whatever the n is, you have to take 4 away from it. Now n is 4 less. Whatever this quantity is, it is 4 less than n. This quantity here is 4 less than n. Because we just took away 4. So now it says D is 4 less than n. So well, that's not what we found here. That's not what it looks like. The second one says, D is 4 more than N. D is N. D equals N. No, this, D does not equal N. D is 4 more than N. So we have to give 4 to it. That's not what this says there. That was B. That was A. C says, D is, is means equal, is 3 seventh of, what does off mean? OF off means times N. Off means multiply. Let's make a note here. Of means multiply. And finally, last one says D is 2 times N. D is 2 times N. No, it's not 2 times N, it's 5 times N. All of these are wrong. The correct answer choice is answer E, because that's what we found here. D is 5 times n. That's it. All, all of these are wrong. I will see you tomorrow on day number 44, where we'll mix some liquid and have some fun with that. Okay? Hopefully some fun liquids. Something that will go nicely for a liquid lunch. I shall see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.